where it's it was not so serious and at the same time it was serious when you played with other people <coughs> fps was very cool at the time. i never played against anything yeah, I did, did a lot of FPS when I was younger. No, I don't play. I... <clears throat> Do you feel like I'm a saver? <laughs> yeah, based upon that answer, you probably are. But I, I haven't heard much else from you But on that answer alone, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Because I'm... I see uh, other INTPs, for example, Suzanne, she can stay calm and still for very long. I can't, you know, I have to intervene. <laughs> Sometimes are you, I... Are you INTP? Yes, yes. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Are you not sure? <laughs> no, you're so active. Yeah, I, I can't... It's very difficult for me, for, for example, when I'm in class, staying set down for one hour plus, it's very difficult for me. But actually, I'm very sure that I'm uh, ITP. Hello. Uh, East. Okay. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. What do you like the most about being an INTP? TI. But about the feelings. The feelings? Yeah. They're annoying. <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking I'm talking about the feelings. For example, when I'm commuting, mm -hmm. I every time I read, I look like a crazy person because you enter so much in your inner world you don't care anymore you want to i don't know just be in your head imagining just, a million what i just space out yeah but i don't know i have this need to um it's all in my face and then and i start just <laughs> crazing around <laughs> I don't know. It's a very good feeling of um, when you read about good ideas and stimulating things, you get overwhelmed, completely overwhelmed. I love that. What do you think I am? ENTP. <laughs> you are so set in that you want to be INTP that I'm not going to get into that. Hmm, I but want to be INTP. You don't think INTPs want to be INTPs? What? I think they do. I think INTJs want to be INTJs more, but INTPs, I think, want to be INTPs. Well, it it has, like, the, the advantages are easy to make sense of. ENTPs are cool. I don't know. I, I love my... These are definitely lifestyle. very special people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not caring... Not giving importance to boring stuff. So, would you like, say you're more concerned with the possibilities or the like accuracy of like when you're presented with something? Do you start analyzing it first, or do you start bouncing off new possibilities first? New analyzing ideas. definitely. Mm -hmm. But I feel like every time someone's speaking, I imagine. There's like a fisherman in my head, and he launches his line to the flow of the other person speaking. And every time so someone says something illogical, I just go, ah! It's like a punch in the belly. <laughs> That's why I had 
uh, this difficulty with my social interactions. Every time someone said something illogical, I would just um, correct them on the spot very aggressively. And now I control that. I try to control it. I just, oh, okay. Interesting. I would like to see that happen because it would be interesting to see how you do it. So I feel like INTPs, the ones I know, are more like, you're wrong and I know it, ha ha ha. <laughs> and ENTPs are like, ha, a logical, a logical weakness. I shall attack it and beat it to death and debate them and, and it will be lots of fun. I don't I like know, normally... Is- I'm the, you, see that, see, you can, you can. I feel like an HP has more. They get more pleasure out of knowing that they're right and the other person's wrong. Yeah. And and an ENTP gets more pleasure out of like rubbing their face in it. <laughs> no, I I normally when I see someone living their life based based on something illogical, I try to help them. But then I realize that most people don't want to be helped. <laughs> Well, that's true in general. And left, that leaves me very sad because I have always this impulse to correct people when they say something illogical. And they don't it's 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 Who I likes like sour cream? Nobody likes sour cream. I like, I like sour cream. I hate sour cream. Sour cream is, is like... The best of thing all the ever. food that is made out of sour old milk, sour cream's the worst. You That's prefer all like cottage cheese or what? Huh? How do you like feel about cottage cheese? Oh my god. You just like pinpointed my least favorite thing. And tomato juice. I would say that I like sour cream more than cottage cheese for sure. Taylor. Yeah, okay. You're right. Because sour cream is just cottage cheese. Or cottage cheese is sour cream, but it's the only food that has the texture of throw up. <laughs> and then some Yo. people put like ketchup on their cottage cheese, and then that's just really bad. Taylor. Yes, I'm here. They said that. Maybe I'm not, especially Suzanne. She said that probably I'm not I, I, an INTP. I don't seem like one. And Can you what? test me? What does Suzanne think you are? What? What? What other types have been hypothesized? I haven't talked that much to him. All I hear is him trying to be PI or something. But when I look at him, he reminds me of Adam, who is INFP. Who's Adam? Uh, Whoa! (laughs) It's such a difference. Um, I don't know. I'll have to watch him more. But that shit he's doing with his eyebrows is uh, intuitive, that's for sure. I can be an INFP then. <laughs> <laughs> I have many, many friends I'm INFP and I'm sure that I'm not one. I'm not Let always. Me ask you this. Are you butt hurt? He got butt hurt when I said he wasn't INTP. What? What? Are you butt hurt? Just about anything at all? No, no. I'm not. I like the. I like the fact that people are questioning that. So I think we can rule out INFP. Because his self-reported butthurt levels are low. Because I like people questioning. I like people telling, hey, you may be wrong. That sounds like INTP, ENTP, INFJ. <laughs> or ENFP. Those are the ones I that like questioning things. Well, I don't like people questioning my logic. <laughs> no, you're right. You enjoy it when other people question logic that you or something that you also don't agree with. You'd prefer if someone else questioned it for you, that you could sit there smugly observing and go, mm-hmm, I knew that. 
<laughs> no, no, I don't feel like. I feel if the person questions my logic and the, um, the person presents a reason, I don't like being wrong. So if the person, if the person has a serious reason to tell me why I am wrong, I want to hear it. I don't want to be wrong anymore. Well, I know what he sounds like. Yeah, which is? An ISFP. <laughs> <laughs> the type that I hate the most. <laughs> uh, I can see like, that. That sounds like his ENT penis was hanging out there. <laughs> it, I, I don't know that much about ISFP, but I can... I don't have a problem. Um, yeah, there's been real there. about that. ISFPs just want to be comfortable, really. Yeah, ISFPs <laughs> hate to be questioned. Uh, no, they're okay with it. Well, at least some of them. Uh, I guess they kind of a range. They don't like being criticized. Yeah. Which is. <laughs> Maybe it depends uh, always, um, sometimes the way you, you're speaking your cri critics. Your oh, I speak harshly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I'm not going to patronize people by, unless by, by putting soft, putting padding on the sharp corners of my words. If I think you're a fucking douche, I'll tell you. Osiris, but I, I'm pretty sure that I'm an INTP because mainly because of well, the honorary one, cognitive functions. It's all yeah, there. Both, both are TI. Yeah, but TI, uh, FE, the fourth fun the fourth function on the fourth slot. Yeah, that's the same. I've got a question for you. Uh, what are you saying? ISTP. Yeah. No, you're not an ISTP. ISTP, no. No, not a chance. I've got a question for you. So you have two options, and you have picked the one that you would prefer doing. So first one, there's a bride, and she just got left at the altar, and she's crying. you got to go up there and calm her Wait, down. Is this a question for me? No, for whoever this guy is. Okay, for me. The other option is your friend calls you up and wants you to help him move to a new house. You have to put stuff in boxes, put it in his car. Go his house, new new place, and then unload everything and put it in the new new house. What do you do with the bride? What do you do with the broccoli? The bride. You said the first option is oh, calm broccoli. her down. She's crying. Yeah. You just got to go up there and calm her down. Can you dick her down. Is she hot? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's above average. She's not hot. Okay, she's doable. She's single. <laughs> she's doable. Now she just got so left at the altar. It depends, man. There's many factors involved. Which one would you rather do? Where's their beer? <laughs> Seriously, this could come down to like which one has beer. <laughs> well, there's no beer at the altar. I mean, maybe you're packing some beer with your friend moving to a new place. You're not Catholic, are you? Uh, I used to be. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't. I guess I wasn't, but my dad was Catholic, and I went to Catholic. So you're saying this once. isn't like a Texas wedding because there would be beer at the wedding if it was all the ones I've been to. There's beer at the wedding, but they're in the back, you know. Okay, there's back row drinking parties. There's drugs at parties. There's yeah. There's beer there. Nanny smuggled in flask because that'll you're be you're gonna be in front of the church calming down this bride. I like my version of the story better. Looking snappy. <laughs> not, not, not rocking. Just Hello. snappy. Uh, well, you know, the heavy metal hand sign is known to be one of the snappiest of all the hand signs. No, because there's actually snapping. Well, 
I didn't say. Actually, capping is pretty.